Buying a vehicle in the Wabash Valley has never been so easy. Just point, click, and take your pick at DorsetAutomotive.com. New or pre-owned, you call the shots. Go ahead and give it a try. Point, click, and take your pick now at DorsetAutomotive.com. The only thing I can say that that was really hard to talk to our team just now because I think they, uh, I think they fought. I think they competed. Uh, did we play uh, as well as we could have as we can? No. Uh, we had too many penalties, too many mistakes at critical times, and didn't make the plays that we needed to make in, in critical situations. And uh, to win those kind of games, you got to do that. And uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, kind of the difference between last year's team and this year's team. Well, last year's team, we made those plays. This, year, this year's team, uh, we're not. And we've got to analyze why. And uh, this is a process, obviously, we're we're uh, you know, one game left. Uh, we have Youngstown State at senior day. Uh, we are going to come back and fight. We've got to stay together as a team. Uh, we've got to keep going. Uh, and uh, we've got to send these seniors out on a positive note. Youngstown State's a very good football team, and we've got to be ready with everything we've got. Uh, but I, I just think we, we didn't make the plays that you need to make at the critical times. And... Uh, had we made those plays, uh, the game would not have gone into overtime. I, I'm not talking, I mean, we could talk about the ones at the end, but you can also talk about, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of plays during the game. It wasn't, you can't say it was one particular play. It was uh, several plays that, that we, we need to make and we didn't make. It seemed to get a lot harder to throw the ball as the game went along as far as perfection was concerned. Matt was doing a lot of running for his life. Yeah, I think that was a little bit of uh, two things, uh, maybe three things. Uh, I think I would say it's a combination of three things. They blitz, okay? Uh, we hammered the blitz at times. We didn't hammer it at other times. Uh, I think we need to protect better than we did. And that's not just the offensive line. That includes the backs and the tight ends. And uh, Matt, at times, I think when you say he was running for his life, there were times where he escaped when he didn't need to escape. He could have hung in there longer, and, and we had throws available. So it's it's all three. It's not one particular thing on every one of them. Uh, it would be a mixture of all three of those things. Mike, can you talk about the last series of uh, regulation? Um, got down to the point where you were pretty near Eric's field goal range, but, but some time ran off, and obviously the penalties hurt. Uh, did you want the time to run down? To the way it did, uh, you had two times at that point. Uh, no, I uh, I wanted to. Uh, I, we had we had a if I remember right, we had a negative play or whatever. I can't remember exactly what happened, but I, I wanted to either <coughs> get right on the ball and go or call timeout. It was kind of an in between situation. But I would ideally I would have liked to have more time. Twenty-seven ten early in the third quarter, and it feels like you know. At that stage of the game, you guys are in good shape. But how much did it hurt the confidence of the team, that, that long touchdown that Western answered with almost right away? Um, <clears throat> you know, obviously from that point forward, it was difficult. Do you think? I think it affected us. You know, I think it's it, 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 one of the things that we've, you know, uh, you know, we have become, as the season's gone on, because of injuries, we've become a young team. And one of the things we've been um, trying to learn and teach our guys is to, fight back from adversity. And uh, we had some situations earlier in the year where there were specific plays that you could say that one particular play like that affected us a lot, like in the uh, Illinois State game, the long run. Um, you know, so yes, uh, we've got to be able to fight back from those things. Yes, that did affect us, but it can't affect us too much. We've got to fight back. Can you talk about, I have the feeling, my feeling is that this season, from a more of an overall standpoint, because of the injuries, especially to guys like Connor and Mark Sewell and players like that, do you feel like this team was maybe robbed a little bit of its potential? For circumstances beyond anybody's control, but does it have that feeling, you know, especially that you've dealt with some offensive injuries this week as well? I mean, you don't want that feeling to creep in, but yeah. But does it feel that way? I, I do feel that way somewhat. You know, my deal is not to ever make excuses and not to ever, uh, you know, 
blame that because it's it, our deal is it's the next man up and whoever the next man up needs to be ready. Uh, and I, it's hard for me to look at this season now with another game left because I don't want to, you know, I, I mean, we, we've got a lot to play for next week. So I, I'd rather look at it after next week. But yes, uh, there is somewhat of that feeling. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know about the term robbed, but you know, uh, you know, the, the fact remains we had two of the of the best players in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. I think the best safety and the best pass rushing defensive end that basically didn't play this year. <coughs> played very little. Anything else, guys? Uh, Roland today, what was his injury and? He got beat up in a lot of different ways. He had a hamstring uh, at one point, and then he and then he uh, re-injured his ankle. That he uh, he had an ankle injury in practice last week, and he uh, he's an extremely tough guy, and he fought back from it and, and played in the game last week, and then re-injured that same ankle this week. And that was the one that knocked him out for good down there. Yes, the one in the yes. In the yep. Anything else? Yes. When when Roland went down, and you guys had to, you had to start using younger running backs. Do you, do you feel that having Lamonte Booker in that situation, especially when you guys are just kind of like trying to run down a little bit of time, do you think that would have helped a little bit? Absolutely. I mean, and I have I have great confidence in those young backs. I think they're going to be really good. But I I do think that a, a veteran player, you know, and I see Roland as a veteran player. I see Lamont Booker as a veteran player. You know, a guy we forget about uh, right now is Dimitri Taylor. Uh, Dimitri Taylor uh, was a big contributor a year ago. He got an ACL uh, surgery, and he would have been a veteran. That's a, sorry for my voice. He would have been a veteran guy in that situation. So, uh, uh, yes, we would have loved to have had veteran guys. I think that would have made a difference. But you know, it's the next man up, and we we think those those young backs are going to be good players, and uh, you know, we want them to step up and give them their opportunity. The Harper thing today, was that kind of a, is that the first time you brought him in for first? First time plays? we've done that in games. Um, he, it's interesting, he plays the opponent quarterback every week. When we do our, uh, not necessarily scout team because we have scout team and then we also have what we call uh, emphasis periods where we're all together and we use uh, as good a players of the twos or whatever to go against our first offense and vice versa first defense. And he's been the quarterback in that situation. And the the, the sweet power read play, he's run so many of those this year, uh, running the opponents, and he does such a great job with it. We just said, hey, he's got a ton of reps in it in practice, so let's just use him and let him do it in the games, and, and he did a great job. And he's a, he's a special guy. He's a the guy that walked on here is a pre presidential scholar. Um, he's a he's he's a special kid. Anything else, Coach? Thank you. Okay.